All right, well, another dreary day here Friday in the Queen City, but we're hanging on for that future sunshine you are promising us for the weekend, Jim. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. It's going to take a, uh, maybe 12, 24 hours to get in here, but by this time tomorrow, it should be bright and sunny. Uh, we got a shot for you coming out of Lake Norman. This is Queen's Landing showing the wind coming in out of the southwest. It's gusty, and you can see the chop on the lake there. It'll still continue to be a little bit choppy today as the winds continue to kind of uh, rustle up here. We're also going to have some showers coming through, so that'll help to make things a little and, uh, inconsistent as far as the weather goes. You're going to have a downpour of rain, we're going to have some wind, and then it's going to turn cooler after that. So lots of changes coming up here in the short term. 68 degrees, though, that'll be our high. Lots of clouds, breezy with some showers around for certain. Let's talk about those showers right now. This is our radar showing the line that's coming through right now in Metro Charlotte. That's a lighter line. And behind it, it's kind of hard to see, but it's developing. That's the actual cold front itself that's coming toward us. A little closer view of that will show, again, uh, along 321, Gastonia back westward toward Gaffney. There it is. That's the actual cold front itself right there. And as it comes through, it's going to produce a good little downpour of rain in a short period of time. Our pinpoint weather uh, radar shows that very well. We put it in static mode so you don't have to, you know, wonder which direction it's moving. We know it's coming from the west to the to the east, but there there is that line. A little closer view of that will point out the cities that are being affected by it. From Statesville down to Lincoln and Gaston, Gastonia, this line of showers has a downpour associated with it. That'll be quick, it'll be hard hitting, and then it'll be out of your area. But do note that it's one of those kind of downpours that you're driving along and all of a sudden it just starts pouring like crazy and then it's done, but it can be a little unnerving. And if you don't like that kind of unnerving while you're driving, I would recommend waiting a good hour for this to clear a whole viewing region. It's gonna come through quick, again, fast little downpour in a short period of time, and then it'll be out of here. You can see our camera shot showing, our live camera shot, Arlington cam camera showing the kind of jostling of the camera from the wind. South, southwest 13, we've, we've had some gusts up to 25 miles per hour. 64 right now, going up to a high of about 68. And there's the cool weather right there at Boone, Jefferson, West Jefferson. It's in the 40s there. And this will take its time to kind of filter down into our region of the Piedmont, but it will. And temperatures will start to ease back as a result of that. Next graphic shows our high temperatures for today, almost like what the current temperatures are. 64, 68, so it's going to go up a little bit as the day goes on. And there is our future cast showing the rain coming through today. Watch what happens tomorrow. Boom, there's the sunshine. Same story on Sunday. Sunshine, clear skies. Monday, a little system comes through with some rain, and then we're back to the sunshine again on our Tuesday and points thereafter. In fact, the extended forecast looks like this. It's kind of exciting to show an extended period of nice weather coming up, and that nice weather will start this weekend. A little interruption on Monday, and then check out the temperatures next week in the 50s with abundant sunshine. So the gloom goes away, a little light shower, and a heavy downpour here for the short term after that. Much better. Lindsay?